who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He's actually saying, this story is simply unbelievable. This story is so mind-blowing, it actually can't be right. There's nothing right about this story because who's even going to believe that this God of the universe in all his perfection came down to earth to become a suffering servant? What differentiates Jesus from any other religion and religious practice or God out there is in all that perfection, most other gods stay in heaven, they become Zeus, they manipulate things. Jesus did not do that. He became a human being and not just become a human being like us to mediate with us or to die for us, but to really suffer and serve us. It's a powerful truth. And Isaiah was watching this picture. He was watching this movie, verse 2. For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root on a dry ground. He was describing the roots of Jesus. He was describing this movie and he's saying he grew up in this parched land. He grew up in this soil that's not rich but cracked up. And he was like a little plant, a shrub if you may, that's just coming out of the cracks of this dry place. He was nobody. He wasn't some gifted guy. He wasn't some, uh, some Luke Luke Sky, Skywalker or Anakin Skywalker who can do magnificent things or run a race and win it even though he's a child. He was nobody. And he chose to be nobody. He wanted to show that he was one of us, God in the universe. He grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of a dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we would look at him and no beauty that we would even desire. In other words, he didn't come as a beautiful person. He came just as an ordinary. He would be literally the equivalent of a little boy in some barrio, in some slum area. That's literally what it would look like. There was nothing special about Jesus. In that sense, what makes him special is what he accomplished for us, but it wasn't this external thing that attracted us to him. And many times, the difference between us and Jesus is he became one of us. He was affected by all of this. There was no majesty. There was no beauty. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows. And the Bible says he was acquainted with grief. He knew it. He knew how it felt. He knew what people were going through. Our suffering servant did not just legally cover our sins with blood. Our suffering servant did not simply mediate a deal 